Good day to all you excellent people of God. It is Rhapsody Time, Reality Time. What does it mean to be acquitted or declared not guilty? Find out in today's article for the 23rd of March entitled Remission of Sins by Pastor Chris. Reading our opening verse from Luke chapter 24 verses 46 to 47, I read, And said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer, and to rise from the dead, the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. In Christ, we have remission of our sins. His substitutionary work in our behalf made us new creations. Our past and our sins were completely blotted out, entirely erased from God's memory, not just your own. So, literally, what Jesus did was to take away the power of sin to prevent its destructive consequences. For that reason, the Bible says in Romans chapter 6 verse 14, For sin shall not have dominion over you. Jesus accomplished this for us. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 13 verses 38 to 39 says, Be it known unto you therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins, and by him all that believe are justified from all things, from which ye could not be justified by the law of Moses. The term forgiveness is derived from the Greek word aphesis, which specifically means remission of sins. Furthermore, those who believe in Him are not only granted remission, but are also justified from all things, a status unattainable through the law of Moses. Justification implies being acquitted, to be declared not guilty. Many Christians haven't fully grasped the depth of this truth. While Jesus indeed paid for the sins of the whole world, When you believe in Him, you receive a new life. You become a new creature, according to 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17. A new person in the presence of God. Hallelujah! In God's presence, you are brand new. This is what justification truly means. You stand acquitted, not merely paid for. Through your belief in the payment, He gave you eternal life and you were born anew with a new life without a past. You are now a new creature. This serves as the basis for your acquittal. The Bible says in Romans chapter 5 verse 1, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! In the presence of God, He sees you in Jesus Christ. He doesn't see the multitude of sins you've committed. Instead, He sees you as pure as Jesus. Wow, wow, wow. Glory be to God. God wants you to be righteousness conscious. So, don't think about what you did yesterday or two years ago. Think about what the Lord accomplished on your behalf. Praise God. You can lift up your hands as we declare this prayer together. Dear Father, I thank you for making Jesus, who knew no sin, to be sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Christ. I pray for sinners around the world today, That as they hear the gospel, their hearts be open to receive the remission of sins already accomplished for them through the death of Christ. To live unto righteousness. In Jesus' name, Amen. In our further study section today, you may take verses given by our man of God in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verses 19 to 21 and Romans chapter 3 verses 23 to 26. 
Glory, glory, hallelujah. Live in this glorious truth today and always. The only way to learn about this life is to keep hearing it from God's word like this. So subscribe to this channel and share these wonderful messages to members of your family, your co-workers and your friends when you click on the share button. You can also download a digital copy of the most translated daily devotional in the world for free today from the link in our description, The Rhapsody of Realities. And visit www.smiles.tniglobal.org to find out how you can seed daily for the gospel to the ends of the earth. God bless you. received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Rhapsody of realities Giving you life for meaning Every day My life made perfect With Rhapsody